Have you been wondering about a craving for vinegar? The sour thing that goes on fries, that goes in salads, that's supposedly good for your stomach bacteria, that might even help with weight loss. I'm talking about apple cider vinegar, but vinegar in general. Are you craving it and you're wondering why? Because it's an odd thing to crave. And if you're craving it, then you're in the right place. At Eating Enlightenment, we explore food cravings. Food is a gateway to spirituality, actually, where we can learn some really cool things about our relationship or our entanglement to food. And these things we learn about food actually really help us in life. In yoga, they say yoga is a microcosm for real life. It's you pr what you practice on the mat is, is how you live your life. And so with food, the same thing happens. When we study our relationship with food, we can learn a lot. So if you're looking to understand why you have these weird cravings for vinegar, stay tuned. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoy the content. Okay, let's just get into the two biggest reasons people crave vinegar. And 99% of the time, it has nothing to do with entanglement, no emotional eating, nothing like that. It's just you crave the taste. Vinegar has an acidic taste. Um, it, it, it contrasts well with, with other foods. It, it adds a tartness in there. You can really imagine like a, a vinaigrette. There's whole salad dressings based off this ingredient. It's, it's tart. It's sour. It, it, um, it's acidic. And so 99% of the time, your craving vinegar is just probably taste related. You're wanting to spice up your meal. You want to add a little flavor, a little dash of kick to, you know, a sauce or, or whatever. And, that, and that's great. You know, I know it might be a little weird if you're craving vinegar, but it's human nature to crave a variety of flavors to want. You don't want to eat the same thing every time, right? I mean, it gets boring just eating the same foods. So it's pretty normal to want to have vinegar, especially if you haven't had it in a while now, or if you don't have it that often, but if you, let's say you, you have vinegar frequently and, um, why is that right? You had vinegar the day before you've been having it every day, the past couple of weeks. Like what's up with that? What are the weird cravings for? How, how, how can we explain it? Okay. So the surface layer explanation, kind of the more obvious explanation which probably accounts for 99.9% of uh, food, uh, the other cases. So that's where you, your stomach bacteria is, is, is not doing so hot. So if you have bad stomach bacteria, if your stomach is not doing so well, vinegar can really help fight this candida overgrowth. Candida is this bacteria that grows in lots of sugar and the conditions for candida growing in your stomach are stress and a plain diet, a variety, a, a lack of variety in your diet. So if you're just having carbs, uh, bread, you know, you know, carbs, processed food, if, if that's all you're eating all day and you're also stressed and you're craving vinegar and you don't, you don't really know why. If you also are having some digestion, some irritable bowel syndrome, some, some, some nausea, you know, stuff isn't feeling good in your stomach, this is probably your stomach's way of trying to get you to actually help it out. Your stomach's in pain. It's not doing well. It's not having the good bacteria that grows when you have a diverse diet. If your diet is very plain and very, very uh, carb loaded, sugar loaded, could be your stomach's way of saying, hey, take this vinegar. The vinegar is going to help kill the bad bacteria, help grow the good bacteria. Um, this was this would make sense um, if you have a stomach bacteria problem. Why you're craving vinegar. Your body is kind of saying, hey, take this so it can get rid of the bad bacteria. Um, so those are the, the two main reasons. 99% of the time it's taste. And then probably like 0.9% of the time, it's this candida overgrowth. And it's possible for 0.1% of people, maybe even more, that there's just some, some weird entanglement issue where vinegar was somehow related to your past. You have a unconscious memory of vinegar somehow playing a role in your life. I mean, 
more obviously with sugar, sometimes people, they begin comfort eating in high school or middle school or even younger. And so sugar has this entanglement with them. And, and so all sorts of foods can be entangled, including vinegar, although it's definitely not as common. Um, I, I can't really actually think of anyone that I've worked with who binged on vinegar or felt a weird relationship to vinegar, but it's possible. So that's why I'm just saying point one at the end. Um, it's definitely possible any food can really get entangled with us emotionally. And so at Eating Enlightenment, we sort of study these cravings and study the past entanglements. Why are we entangled with this food? And, and can we ch catch our triggers and, and understand what's behind those triggers? And, and ultimately, can we free the parts of ourselves that are entangled with food? And, and really let forth our authentic self come forward. So um, that's eating enlightenment for you in a nutshell. I hope you have enjoyed this short little video about cravings of vinegar. If you like the video, please thumbs up and do subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Be sure to check out down below. We have a growing community that you can apply and, and uh, there's a quick application form. And then there's the, uh, the eating enlightenment journal app as well, which you can download down below. Okay, so thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a comment down below. What is your favorite meal, snack, salad dressing? How do you like to have vinegar? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, namaste.